All right, so now in this video, we're gonna look at putting together some batteries with the Verizon solderless weldless system. And so I made a video earlier. Hopefully this one's better. There's a lot of tutorials on doing this out there. So if you came across this video first, uh, please check out all the other videos before you start building anything. But to begin with, these just snap together really easily. So, well, sometimes they're kind of finicky, but they snap together and they hold really well. So, we made sure that the teeth were facing the same way before I put this together. You will run into problems if you have them where uh, teeth are on one side, teeth are on the other. And uh, so, you want to make sure that the teeth and the grooves are all facing the same way. So, this is the start of a series connection. We're going to put the positive side of one battery to uh, this terminal, the negative side of another battery to this terminal, and we'll either attach them with the bus bar here or on the other side. So, the other side of the battery, so we have teeth on top there, the red one's going to come to where the blue one is when we attach a battery, and the blue one to where the red one is. And so, let's turn it this way. And now, we want the teeth to face a different way. So you can see we got teeth to the right there. We want teeth to the left on this one, teeth up. We want teeth down on this one. And I'm facing it this way because that's how it's going to attach to a battery. And then, we will take a red one. And once we have the direction set up, we just copy it. That makes it really easy. So first ones the one you got to figure out so now we got two and later on we'll be able to add more batteries but uh, for now let's stop with two and this will help us keep them all aligned and also make sure they're straight when we put them on the battery so the batteries are a tight fit probably and uh, so these have a button some of them don't have a button. Some of them are just flat. This one bumps out a little bit. Sometimes they're completely flat on the negative side. Sometimes a little bump. But you should see little vents or something on the uh, positive side. But in any case, this is the negative side. So definitely want to make sure you plug the right side of the battery into the right terminals. So I'm going to push them down with hand pressure. And they'll probably make a good connection. And we can check with a multimeter. So I got the multimeter set to measure voltage and there's this terminal here. Some of these are just as long as the plastic post on there so don't set this on anything conductive but uh, we can push that against the wire there and we can see we have a voltage there and we should uh, measure black probe up here negative side of the battery and to the wire there we got uh, 3.7 volts so we have a connection there if we measure it backwards we will just get a negative voltage so if you just are okay with seeing the number and quickly moving you can just jump back and forth without swapping the probes uh, just realize a negative number just means you have it backwards so in any case now we're going to cap off the top of these so again we want the teeth the opposite way and we'll see why coming up. Now, we want the blue to the negative and the red to the positive, of course. And sometimes it's tricky getting them into there. And uh, so make sure they line up right. And uh, odds are, with two it'll be easier than with more, but odds are hand pressure is not going to make a solid connection. And uh, so I'll push these down. I am reusing these caps, so maybe they are a little looser. Okay, this one slid down a little bit. So I know we have a good connection. We can double check. So we actually have a connection there and one there. But uh, if we don't, then I have, you can use a smaller hammer. This is just what I have. You can just lightly tap it down. And so... You can make long strings of these and connect them together. I like just having 
one at a time getting added for now so we will look at adding more to them so now if we want to add one in series so we have positive here and then the negative side of this battery there and we can either connect it on either end doesn't matter but let's say we leave this side floating that side floating we connect these two with the bus bars which are really simple you just slide them in and then screw them down we'll have a connection there and uh, I'm not going to do that now just to help prevent short circuit on uh, this side so in any case we can keep going in this direction or we could keep going in that direction either way but first again we want to make sure that the teeth line up with that one we can there we go we can slide this in and before we really pound it in make sure we have the ridge there and the teeth on that side and we can just push it all the way down pretty simple that one will connect really easy and then we can take a battery now we could assemble this beforehand and uh, slide it in because everything's going to work its way down but uh, I like doing this because it helps make sure that everything is lined up so there we go and uh, make sure the teeth are there and we put it in there and line it up there we go so I'm not going to be able to hand push that now there's quite a bit going on it has to make a connection with the uh, battery fit around the battery and slide these are a tight fit so I got a hammer and uh, I'll just keep tapping it down until it is level so now that we have the batteries ready to be wired in series because we got positive to negative negative to positive you won't want to put a bar straight across here uh, you put one across there and then one down there and then keep going down the line if you want more in series so this is three series now we're gonna make a three series two parallel and that's pretty easy so if we do it one at a time again we want to make sure that the new ones we add line up we actually want a red one no a blue one so we want to keep the same color that we have on there so make sure it lines up and we can slide it down so everything the way we have this turn here the new ones slide down so we got negative to negative and ultimately we're going to connect this battery directly to that battery and uh, so we will make sure this is all the way down and then push this down pretty pretty far so negative to negative and then we will add this one so again we want to make sure that the teeth line up and the first one of the row is the one that's going to be the uh, trickiest one to insert so so in any case we want teeth to teeth right there and we push it down and I'm not going to hammer this right now looks like I got a good enough connection just hand pushing it so the next one again it's parallel this one has to be red and so we're gonna take the red one and now we have no choice there's grooves here grooves there so we're gonna have to put teeth and teeth to those and uh, that just snapped right in beautifully and so we're gonna add a battery so positive down and so for each one of these in series if we add another in parallel and sometimes the batteries don't line up that's one that's one trick is uh, make sure you get the battery in there before you start putting serious pressure down so there you go and now we're gonna have to put the negative one there but for each series battery if you add a parallel battery you're gonna to have to add a parallel battery to all of them because if you just have like uh, like right here half of the current will come from each one of these batteries half the current will come from each of these batteries and then that battery will provide that full amount of current so when they're in series the same amount of current is going through all of them and if all of a sudden you just have half the batteries it's each one of those batteries one in this case is going to have to provide twice as much current it's going to discharge faster and discharge to a safe level really fast but in any case I think these are 
actually good connections, just hand pressing them. I should tap them down though. You can lay like a block on there and tap it with the smaller hammer or whatnot, but uh, tap carefully. So again, this is going to be parallel, so we need the same colors. And uh, so yeah, really easy. So I'm not going to make you watch me put together this last one. So now, these are the three I just added in parallel. Let's do a real quick check. So I'll try to make sure I get to that pin. And uh, yeah, looks like we got a solid connection. It wouldn't hurt to tap it down either, but I did do this by hand. And so we have them connected. So, or we have the connections on them, these uh, snap together connections. So now we have to add bus bars. So now let's start actually making the connections and you have to decide which side of the battery you want to be the negative side and which side you want to be the positive side and uh, top or bottom which side. So I'm just going to make this one negative and so to begin with we put a bus bar there. So this is the start of connecting them in parallel. We will also put a bus bar there that'll make that one parallel but this is going to be my negative there so these are 5.5 millimeter nuts and so I had uh, trouble finding a socket I ordered an actual one but I have my uh, tool kit that I have for fixing uh, my vehicle if I ever need to and that one has a socket that is 5.5 millimeter and uh, there you go so I'm not going to tighten it real tight right now. This is just my prototype battery pack. So, of course, I would tighten it down more if I plan to make this permanent. Plus, I'm going to have to add wires later. So, in any case, pretty uh, pretty simple. Just, just screw them down. And we have a bus bar. So, these two are connected right now. And uh, that was kind of bad if there was more connections I could have made a short so I need a better option than this but in any case you just screw them down really simple so now we got the start of this one being parallel or these two I should say so we come here we finish the parallel connection and we start the parallel connection of the one next to it so now we're going to connect these two in series so we just need two more bus boards. Bus boards. So real simple. Bus bars. There we go. And again, we just screw it down. So right now, we don't have to worry about short circuiting anything at uh, those points there. So I'm not going to make you watch me screw them all down. I'm going to screw all four down just like that. So since I'm waiting for the proper tool to arrive, which should hopefully help reduce the chance of short circuit, if we had these two connected down here, then if I drop the tool across here, we have a chance of short circuit. So I can just cover it with my hand like that for now and just screw it down like that. So if I accidentally let it slip again, it will not connect those terminals. So. There's a simple fix right there. And so we are finished. So we got positive there, negative over there, and then this one comes and connects all there, and then comes through there and connects all there, comes to there. So we have two parallel, three series. We will check the voltage, and we should have there about 3.7 volts each. And we should have about three times that. So yeah, we have 11 volts. Uh, so that's 11 volt battery right there. So now if we ever want to add more, we could do one at a time or make a whole roll. So first, let's look at parallel. I have this connected the uh, same way. The connectors attached. So you can see that uh, we have teeth there. And uh, down here we have teeth there and a groove there. And so I have this set the same way. And they just snap right into place as long as you line them up. So we would actually have to also put a blue one here and a red one there. We could put them three together 
and then slide all three together at the same time. That's what I see the creator do. Or you could snap them in one at a time. But there you can see we got teeth to teeth, groove to groove, we could slide another one and slide another one. Now if you want to put some more in series, then we gotta flip this around. But again, you want the teeth the same way and you want to make sure you can add more. So we would want teeth to teeth and groove to groove and then we can just slide this in or have two of them slide them both in but there you can see we can easily slide in another one we have groove to groove there or groove to groove down here and teeth to teeth there so another one would slide in or we could have attached it to this one to begin with but that's what we would do if we wanted in series you can see red blue red and then blue we would add another battery and then connect them down there and then have a bus bar across there you want just as many in parallel as you do with the other series batteries. So, in any case, I plan to do a lot more with batteries in the future and more mostly when my channel expands more. So, please click like and subscribe if you haven't done already and please check out my other videos. That will help me a lot. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.